friends, uh, in this video we will talk about uh, using Oracle date functions. Uh, I've connected to the HR schema and uh, let's say I'm trying to get the, it's querying the employee, employees table. Okay, my requirement here is something like this. I want to get the employees, number of employees joined uh, month and uh, year wise but in this specific order. So if you see the below data, we can see that uh, one employee got hired in Jan 2001. And then in June, you have four employees joined, June 2002. And uh, the next one is in August 2002. So the requirement here is to write a query, which will give me an output like this. So this is my requirement. And now we will see how we can go about writing uh, query using Oracle date functions and group by functions. So the first step what I will do is I will try to get the higher date in this specific format. That is the higher date 130101. I want to get it in this specific format. What I will do is I will just say select higher underscore date comma. Uh, I will use the function to care and say higher date comma one month followed by the year okay and I will say from employees so now you can see I got this data in the specific format right June 2003 September 2005 all those details so now the next requirement is to do a group by on this particular column. So what I will do is, what we can do is select, we'll, uh, copy and paste this to care of higher date month comma y y y, and then I will do a count star, and then I will say group by, copy and paste the same thing to care of higher date. So now if we run this query, okay. So it should be from employees table that is missing. So we'll do that from employees. We'll press this from employees group by. Yep. Now I got it in this format, right? Count and everything. I want to change the header. So I will say month and year. Uh, column alias I'm changing. Okay. So here for this is number of employees. This is going to be month and year. Yeah, so this is the next step. So now if you see the column header has changed and we say we show month year and number of employees. But if you see my requirement, right? My requirement is I want it in this specific order. Plus 2001 based on the order of uh, hiring. So how can I do it? What happens? Let's see what happens if I say order by hire underscore date, right? Not a group by expression. So why you get this error message? Not a group by expression is because. Whenever you are trying to do order by, the order by column should be present in your select list. Here, higher date is not present in the select list. So what we can do is, uh, let me try and copy and paste this order by two date of higher date. Try to do it. Okay. So, so now if you see, you get ordered by Oracle. Since we said to care, Oracle has converted it to a character field and the alphabetical sorting it does a b c d december and things like that but we don't want it in this format right i want it in this specific format jan 2001 june 2002 august 2002 so there is a slight tweak we can do so what we can do is i'll copy and paste the same sql again so i'm just to show you step by step but before doing order by, I can apply a function in the order by. So what I will do is I will just say order by to date. And then I will give a, convert this to care to date, back to date. 
with this same specific format month y y y right so let me run this query so now you will see sorted correctly like how we want to see jan june 2002 feb 2005 up to april 2008 hmm. so this is how right we can uh, use to date and to care function we can nest it and use to use it based on our requirement so the next question is so only we are almost there uh, i will uh, but only thing you see here right there is a space uh, there is no space out here but here since it's in the month the fixed width is being used so and that's the reason why you are seeing that it's a, you're getting a full width uh, some space here so maybe how to avoid that as well we'll quickly take a look what i can do is i can replace this blank spaces with uh, remove this blank spaces by using the replace command so the next step is i will use the replace command okay so how i will do it is i will just say select replace put a bracket here and then here what i will do replace this empty space if you see here i'm bringing an empty space with without space and let's see now what happens yeah so now you got the data without any space so now uh, so this is a quick video on how to use the how we can basically play around with the oracle date functions uh,